Good morning, everyone. Natalia with you. Now we have already one video unboxing from Colorful DIY. We did uh, four cross stitch, and one of them, remember, there was a uh, threads totally from different canvas. Now same day the problem was resolved the company assured me and found out um, where it was in the factory in the pack and sir um, service the people did not put proper threads so now it's all fixed all good uh, same day so we still have three canvases in here to review for next time and if you remember in my first video I said that um, we will do cross stitch, diamond painting, cross stitch, and diamond painting again. So today we will have diamond paintings, and I'm thinking how many we should have um, because one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's open this one kind of like too big I don't know so let's open like this one little something so this four will be for next time we have another two video for next two weeks and today we will have this five unboxing okay I think it's fair okay let's get started and something in here something doesn't looks like canvas or maybe canvas because the piece in here kind of ripped. Okay, let's let's see. This bag is really really broken, taped from both sides. It feels like not new bag or something. I don't know. All right, so it is canvas. I thought it was looks like something like 3D maybe project. Uh, looks like something very pixelated. What is? Oh, it's a snowman. It's a snowman. Very. Oh my goodness, that is a very very tiny. So it will look probably very pixelated or not. Let's see. Let's see in a picture. This is tiny. Usually, I like to order at least like 30 by 40 if it's a small canvas the smallest could be if i for example uh, want to have some like a special diamonds that could be a smaller size so i don't know this is a very cute but very little maybe catherine asked me to do this to order this one that's why i got it because she always wants to have uh, images with christmas stuff snowman anything that belongs to the winter so here it is let's see we have a handsome snowman and what else is going on up there it's probably going to be a pixelated because it's a very tiny canvas but at the same time uh, the image is um, how would they say the main character is big so it should be all right i think maybe we can tell catherine to do this so let's see maybe on a thumbnail we can see a little bit better image what is going on looks really really cute the size is 30 by 30 so I think the size will be 25 by 25. Let's check. I have a ruler in here still sitting on my table. Okay, so see 30 by 30. This is this ruler 30 centimeters. So it's going to the edge of the border. So this one is exactly 25 centimeters printed area. <clears throat> I feel like I need to stop and have some water. <coughs> excuse me okay so let's see what we have in here we have 20 colors and legend on both sides for such a little canvas uh, legend would be just fine on one side for sure we have a toolkit oh that's nice they have some extra ziplock bags 
and the canvas is glue is pretty good So 20 colors we need in here and there are you know there's some few extra like for uh, bright colors not just the dark because the snowman has a pretty red scarf oh that's a beautiful color isn't it this one seven eight nine And eleven. What is this? Ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, numbers kind of printed a little bit too far to the edges of the bag. That's our color. So this one definitely Catherine wanted probably because it's a very tiny one. Looks cute, even the little one. All right, so this was number one. Very cute little start. Now let's see what else we're going to have in here. Okay, this one is really, really thin. And this one feels like something 3D inside. What this could be? What this could be? No, it's not. Oh, how come? No, there's something. Something inside. But what is that? Hold on. Some kind of mandala in here. I don't understand. If this is just a regular canvas or something else inside. Or maybe that's a tray that I'm keep touching. Oh yeah, that's an extra tool that kind of create. Um, feels like it's something else inside. So with this kit, we do have a plastic tweezers and uh, just a, like any other kit with no extra bags up there. But this one have a special gems. And gems looks good. Oh, maybe this one is a glow in a dark, you know? Uh, yeah, I think so. This could be glow in a dark. I definitely need to have some. Oh, maybe I can do a flashlight with my cell phone. I have my cell phone with me. So in here, eight colors. Very nice and bright. Wonderful tile design. Canvas clarity, here it is. And then, let's see the diamonds, because I think this one is a glow in the dark. Where? Okay. Oh my goodness, this bag's glue are really tough. Because when I look on this bag of white, for some reason I feel like they will glow. Maybe I'm mistaken, but you know what? Let me grab my cell phone right now. And I will try to put a few seconds on these bags and see if they will glow or not. Okay. And now I'm going to check. Hold on, I need to get the, oh yeah, they are glow. I don't know if you will see it, because it's, <laughs> it's very bright. I have to hide from Chantelier. Okay, uh, if we hide, okay, there, see? It's not good, you can see, but I have to hide from Chantelier. So it is, these two bags, they are glow in the dark. Okay, that would be fun at night to see them, right? When it's all placed, and this is number three, where's the symbol three? Oh no, the bag number three. So the symbol is, oh, all this outlining where we have 
um, the arrow symbol all this outlining that's going to be glow everything all the thread symbols that's wonderful now we have a separate in the bag this kind of gems just a clear little little tiny gems and then we have what else also clear but in a 2.5 millimeters same size for the blue and then of course three I mean two bags of this glow in the dark diamonds number four number five. Oh, okay so that's the same one number five so this would be number five too because there's a funny part is there is no number or label on this bag but because of this bag right it's the same shape so I guess this would be number five and then we have the same shape in red and what we have here oh that's a beautiful nice and sparkle nice and clear clean looking like looking good diamonds and then one more bag of blue wow i'm excited actually to work on this one and see how this is going to glow in the dark and maybe one day i should uh pull out all my mandala diamond paintings and put them all in one in in one video just to create what kind of canvases i have with this kind because i really really love this kind of mandalas they always fun to do and they just beautiful and look very very gorgeous when you done them so it's something i really enjoy working on and i hope you will too so Go ahead, check it out and order, please. Now we have one, uh, okay, this one kind of like thinner. So let's open this one. Number three. And what do you know? It's another Christmas time. So it looks like we are going to have lots of winter projects before Christmas and I have to say that this is a perfect time right now for you start shopping uh, for the Christmas images because um, you need to complete them before Christmas so you can gift to somebody now I'm looking on the Santa and his face are like burned why is he so red why is his face so red Okay, let's see on a thumbnail. It's a red too. Okay, that's look like look like he frozen. <laughs> so he's holding a globe, I believe. This is a very very beautiful image on a website. In here looks like a little bit pixelated face, unless when you finish it will look absolutely different. I have picture like the Santa uh, with the bag over his shoulders that I created last year and I display on my wall here by the table and when I step back the image will look so good but when I was looking close on it it will look pixelated so you always need to look from further like you're not going to stare on this picture so close if you put on a wall it's gonna be from far away so definitely picture will look better like right now I'm a little bit concerned about his face and I hope this diamond is not going to be this much red um, but the Santa has a red nose everybody know this and look at like a snow globe or something he's holding oh yeah I think it's a snow snow globe he's holding in his hands okay so 20 colors as well and uh, yeah round diamonds with this one let's do our counting together and next week we will have with you again 
cross stitch review three gorgeous canvases I cannot wait to share with you I will probably pre-record this video as much sooner so I can organize and put everything away so let's see diamonds what we have in here with Santa Okay, so this is the red color. Is it going to be on his coat up there or on his face? <laughs> what do you think? I think in both. More red. This one kind of muted red, like a more like a coral brownish. And then one more like this one, probably definitely going to be on a facial a little bit and this is beautiful color as well okay so prepare yourself for lots of winter diamond painting starts maybe um, when should we start tell me what would be better to start work on a Christmas project maybe uh, October or November what do you think because uh, right now, I think first we need to start work on some images. There is uh, Halloween or Thanksgiving, especially for us in Canada. We have Thanksgiving um, one month difference with USA people. And I think ours is before yours, right? Okay now this one is a beauty and because this is an abstract or paint pour well paint pour abstract the so same thing um good thing in here actually for a double legend because in here legend a little bit chopped but it's still good enough there's a three digits up there you still can see them but we do have in here and in here we have a good amount of colors on this one so if you are interested in abstract diamond painting you have 33 colors in here which is really a great amount and it's very colorful look how gorgeous look how gorgeous oh i love it love it love it this one 30 by 40 centimeters. Wow, so beautiful. And glue in here is just gorgeous. What is this diamonds? Round or square? So we do have a kit in here with no bags, extras. And diamonds, oh, diamonds are square in here. Okay, because I see grid that looks like square to me. And look at this canvas, it's gorgeous. Look at the glue, look how beautiful. It's so smooth. Oh, this is going to be such a fun to work with. Wow, I really love this one. So I would say I like it, maybe you will like it. You can order and then we can work together. So let's see. 33 colors, it's a really good amount for such a little canvas because it's so colorful. That's exciting. Now let's see what what diamonds of the quality in here, if this is any good or not. Okay, so let, let me check. Looks like excellent to me. Let's see if you can spy more clothes if you like them i think it's a beautiful beautiful diamonds in here okay let's see if 310 we will like it or not and 310 is right in here okay please focus okay not gonna show us 310 okay no looks like a is it good to you kind of hard to see from the bag and usually a black color is the worst one to see uh, through the bag because it's dark it looks good so far 
see because bright colors you can see from far how beautiful and perfect square so I assume the black diamond same good quality colors in here are so vibrant oh so juicy do you like this painting comment yes if you do wow love it every time I open some very very pretty canvas that I really really love I always thinking oh my goodness I want to start so bad on it and then I think okay I better start finish something first then the faster I finish my process that already started then I can start on something new quicker so that's kind of like uh, you know the thing that pushed me to work faster on my canvases that I already started a long time ago but there's always something new and here you have it absolutely amazing colors oh love it I wish that was a size a little bit even bigger of this one okay now we have one more canvas left and this one looks like it's bigger because envelope bigger what is it what is it what is it okay some oh that's a beautiful it's like a like a like a painting like somebody would paint on a wood sometimes that's what I feel like uh, this kind of painting and this one is a square diamonds as well uh, with the big chunk of wax toolkit and there you go look at that it's like a you know people sometimes painting very quick in few minutes with the some kind of black transfer uh, to create this kind of design and actually I'm waiting something um, that we can create designs like this to paint and then put some design in black color so uh, it's coming up it's coming up I did not receive the package yet but I'm I'm waiting for something exciting so this one is 40 by 50 centimeters legend on both sides we have a DMC code with it lots of air got in here let's give rid of it begin here okay I have to fill this because it keeps squishing my canvas together there now feels better when it's flat in here all right so look how beautiful those colors right now it's a big big pack of colors in here we have 24 colors which I didn't think we even will have this many colors because it doesn't seem like it's lots of colors in here but oh love this one color let's start from here let's start from here so this is kind of like a purple now this one is gorgeous mm nice it's like a sunset design on the painting yeah looks like a sunset this one is beautiful this one is dark dark blue looks like black from far and we have three bags of them and then here you go Beautiful, oh, such a bright, happy color. This one's stunning. And I love this minty color. Well, it's not minty, but beautiful though. And then we have two colors of this blue. I mean, not two colors, two bags. And then 
more darker two colors oh i keep saying two colors two bags of the same color that's a pretty there you go is it isn't it gorgeous what do you think it's a very simple design very often people create this kind of design on uh, boards of wood when they put together cover with the chalk paint and it's just you put uh, slices of acrylic paint like squeeze it out and just literally smudge the smudge that with the big brush and then stencil on the top with the black paint through the stencils design after the uh, main colors and the knees already dry out and there's a moon in here Oh, you know what? There's a beautiful in here um, thumbnail. Maybe you will able to see uh, how pretty they look like in here. And that's why I picked because I love those colors. They are gorgeous. Love it. Do you think it's a yeah sunset or sunrise? Sometimes when sunrise we still see a moon, but here's the moon, so it's probably sunset. <laughs> definitely beautiful okay so thank you so much everyone for joining me for today video unboxing review i think everything is gorgeous uh the first one canvas little snowman looks really really tiny and the way it's um kind of look like it looks like it's going to be maybe maybe will look pixelated because the way i already see this kind of like a pixels of the colors but when we put diamonds it could look totally different okay so never know till you finish and uh, on this note i will say comment what you think what's your request when you think is the best time to start christmas diamond painting and i will see you tomorrow as always, as I record every single day. And thank you so much, Colorful DIY, for this wonderful package that we have four weeks of fun. 